Hey guys, today I'm going to be unboxing ugh, Rising Sun. Let's check it out. All right, so let's open this sucker up. As always, cutting towards my hand. Because that is what we than I thought. Do. All right. Now, first thing in the box, let's get a sneak peek here. We have, what is that? Um, bubble wrap. Followed by, oh, this is where I can see. Aha. The art book. So let's go ahead and look at the art book. So I like how this was this is nice and hard cover too. This is good. I like this. And this is nice. Oh, I'm gonna have to use my knife here. Sorry, bubbles, but you gotta go. You've served your purpose. All right. Oh my goodness! I bought the darn thing. Let me have it. All right. And it's wrapped. It's wrapped again. So, either way though, look at that is, that is great. That is fantastic. So let's go ahead and carefully, so don't cut like a bajillion pages or anything like that. I don't do anything crazy. Let's unwrap this. And, oh, it feels nice. So this has a great, you hear that? Squeaky clean. Anyway, a very nice matte finish that I like. So let's open it up. The Art of Rising Sun. Um, there's some art there, yeah, yeah. It's very watercolory. Um, cherry blossoms fall. Strength and honor shape the land. The sun is rising. That's probably significant to something. So it looks like it's organized. Let me go back here by clan. So we got. Quite a few here. I'm going to do a component overview afterwards, so don't worry. We'll see this kind of more up close and personal. It's kind of looking... I don't know what the art on the side is of each one, though it looks quite different each time. Anyway, very cool. So skip towards the end. We got a dragon, and it looks like it's mostly just raw art. There isn't, um, you know, detail or anything as such, though a little bit on the back. All right, so let's move on from there. And next, more bubble wrap. And so we have two packs here. So we have the monster pack. This is um, just four large minis. They're probably about as big as this. So very interesting there. One of them is a dragon. That's exciting. Then we have the Kami Unbound, and this comes with four, five, six, seven of the Kami. These are the guys that you can kind of get to join you as well. So that's cool. And now we have underneath there. Oh, this is heavy. My goodness. Like the weight. So the total weight here was like 14 and a half pounds, but this was 14 of it, I believe. So this is the core box of Rising Sun. It looks very nice. It's big too. Look how thick that is. That is that is crazy. It's probably to fit like these like dragons and stuff, and then all the tokens and and all of that stuff. Oh, all right. I'll break a foot if I drop that. And lastly, we have the daimyo daimyo daimyo. I apologize if I'm saying that wrong. Daimyo pack. And this was full of Kickstarter exclusives. It's very nice that it comes with its own box, which is almost as big. It's a little bit smaller. Almost as big and a lot lighter. It's all that cardboard that's gone. But here you have your Godzilla dude and you got your Phoenix and your 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 Panda Warrior and uh, another dragon and plastic tokens and all that jazz. So that's all in here. So that's pretty cool too. Now the only thing I didn't get, well I guess there were two things. So I did not, well three. So I didn't get metal coins. We got plastic coins. I'm fine with that and it'll make the um, fidgeting, I think, less annoying. Um, if I'm unhappy with the plastic coins, which I feel if I'm unhappy, I could probably even paint them to look them better, I could always get metal coins somewhere else for about the same price, maybe a bit more, but I'm okay with that. Um, I did not get the neoprene mat. 
that if the comments on Kickstarter to say anything smells kind of like a raccoon brothel. I don't know. It's, it's, it smells really bad, apparently. I imagine airing out will be fine. Uh, I don't know if you can even watch those, but it looks really big and really cool, but I didn't get that, and I did not get the expansion uh, with the other gods and the other two clans. I think they're the Moon and Sun clan. Either way, I didn't get those. A friend of mine did, so I might paint his um, if I get to that before I just buy it retail, which I will do. So the only thing you're missing buying retail, by the way, and point that out, besides everything in this box, which more monsters is always better. So, I mean, it looks like you get more than a massive darkness, so that's good. But I'll mention that in my review. Is I guess a lot of the plastic stuff, but so you have like Alliance plastic markers or um, plastic Alliance markers that are plastic, and you will miss those from the two tribes if you get the expansion after Kickstarter. So if you are mixing Kickstarter and non-Kickstarter, keep the cardboard ones if you want consistency so you can have all of them cardboard or all of them plastic plus two cardboard, which will look kind of weird. But anyway, that's it for the unboxing portion of it. That's, I mean, this, this box is empty. So let's get on to the component overview. All right, guys, welcome to the actual component overview. So now let's open this up and look at this at a lot more detail. See if I can figure out how to unbox this well probably just like that all right it's like unwrapping a christmas present except it's not christmas I can see the present through the wrapping, and I bought the present. But other than that, it's like <laughs> unwrapping a Christmas present. All right, this, by the way, has a nice texture to it too. I like it. All right, just a little bit of fart noise, not too bad. You're welcome for that. Okay, so opening straight up, you get a wonderful, it looks like a rule book, though it doesn't say rule book on it, but yes, this is the rule book, which is kind of exciting, let me, Go ahead and make sure that is zoomed in for you guys. All right, there you go. All right, that should be good. Sorry about that. I know not necessarily kosher to do that during the video. Anyway, looks pretty well laid out. I know there's an FAQ, kind of an addendum that they've already added to kind of explain more detail. That being said, this is actually quite thick. Though there's a lot of big art, you know, so they're wasting a lot of space, but it's still fairly wordy. And some of it might just be for me coming directly back from Stuff Fables, which was, I don't know, a lot more. Man, they got some good art here. A lot more streamlined. So, a lot of art. And this is just all game design. Eric Impling. Art, Adrian Smith. Sold. All right. And then, aha, we go straight to the cards. I'll do the miniatures, don't worry, and that's what you guys want to see. But, cards are important too. Now, know that anything in this is exactly where you're going to get at retail. So if you're seeing this and you did not get that, you can still... These are really good colors. I like how... I don't know, they're just... I, I do like the color. Um... Anything you see here, you will get in the retail. We'll get to the... So these are all green, but on the other side, they're blue and green and red. And I haven't looked at them all, but... Very easy to read. All the symbols look good. I know Massive Darkness had an issue with some of them, but it doesn't look like they had the issue here. Very nice. These are really good. Good cards, too. I like that. Let's put those back. They looked like... All right, and look at this, plastic tokens in the core box. I dig it. That's awesome. And they stack. Look at that. See, they have these little these little uh, nubs here and these holes, and they actually stack up, which is kind of cool, I suppose. And again, interesting color choices. They're, they're very, I don't know, what is that, pastel, muted? I'm not an art guy. I just paint miniatures. This is the average Joe doing his part in the world. All right. Oh, I don't know why I'm throwing them there. 
that's their home. All right. So let's open. Let's get this box out of the way. And take. Well, you know what? I'm going to do the miniatures a little bit closer up for you guys. So let's set the miniatures aside for now. Room in another room. This stuff takes a lot. So in here, I'm assuming, I'm just going to open it up. The big baddies. We'll take a look at that in a second with a separate camera angle. I bet this is the rest of the the clans. And they're really packing these suckers in here. So I read a comment about... So I, I, I'm glad they have storage options because you can store it here. However, it's hard to know that this person goes here versus here, especially when it's all empty. These look really nice, by the way. And somebody said that it showed on the side of the box, but this is just a cardboard box. I don't know where that would show. So if anybody actually knows, let me know, and then I'll know. So when other people need to know who knows, they can know too. All right, so, all right, hopefully that's enough. Oh, no. Did I get it? I got it. I got it. Don't worry, guys. Don't doubt me. I got this. See? I'm a professional. All right. I do like oh, how straight this all stayed. A lot of times I just like set this on. Oh, come on. All right. They just kind of set this on top of like the rule book or something like that. So I'm glad that that was kind of shrink wrapped in there. All right. So here we have set this here. These are the uh, the trays. So they bend. Yeah. <laughs> like that ish and on the outside it shows everybody what you can do on the inside it shows you like where you start and, and stuff like that and so you got one for one two three four five in the base game that's cool i like that oh hitting my microphone I'm sure you all heard that this is some good cardboard nice and thick and if i'm not mistaken you see how that popped out i don't know if you saw my stuff fables one recently but that is better no tags, right? You don't have any of those wannabe skin tag, cardboard tag things. They just kind of pop out. Very satisfying. Perfect. Everybody needs to do that. That is fantastic. Really well done. So that's those. And then here, oh, I'll move that, is what looks like the board game. So this is the thing where, again, oh, you're not going to be able to see all this. Oh, it's huge. It's massive. Look, this is... You guys better not try and play on a coffee table. It ain't gonna work. That's a big... Very big board. The uh, neoprene mat or whatever that they sold um, as an additional buy is even bigger than that. I'm not sure I have a table for that. Wow, I should have read the... Um... Oh, I should have read the... There's a word there. The sizes, the, the dimensions, right? All right, so here's a problem, right? So once this is, this is great for packaging, right? This is fantastic for shipping. But if I want to actually use this board game, I'm going to have to open all these cardboard pieces, and I'm going to have to have them just kind of loose. And then where do they go? Cool, man, you're not? You tell me. Where do they go after that? The reason I need you to tell me is because you made the darn game and I don't know. So this goes here, right? This goes here. That's fine. That's cool. Well, again, we'll get to the miniatures. We will see all of that if you don't care about other stuff. The other ones are just going to be basic openings, I believe, because that's the majority of the other components. So you can skip to that if you want. Um, however, where the cover piece is supposed to go? This is full. Now, if I take that out, this sinks a little bit. So I guess I just throw them on top and it's jostle around. And then, God forbid, God forbid... I am a gamer who wants to store it like this. Mm -hmm. See that? That happens inside the box the moment there's space. Because there's no lid. Because you're assuming it stays full. But I'm going to take that cardboard out, so I don't know. Anyway. Perhaps I'm just being honorary, and you guys don't want to hear that, but... Well, too late I said it. And it'd be weird to edit it out. I'd just like play some, like, music. And that's not going to happen. Alright, so... There is that. Call me unbound. Let's do that one. Oh, come on. 
Ah, crappy knife. All right. This actually seems like a little bit thicker plastic, too. Like, seriously, it does. I joke, but not there. That seems slightly different. Interesting that they would use two different ones. And in here, if you were to buy this in retail, this is what you get. It's all here. So, special rules. So this is not in the base game. They don't even mention it. I actually prefer that. I'm fine with having other stuff. What I can't stand is seeing stuff in a rule book that I don't have. Don't show me that junk. Not unless I have it. Nice big cards. That is cool. Let's, let's open that sucker. Oh, oh, where? Now see? Give me a pull tab, guys. Give me something. There is nothing. Hold on. I'm just gonna stab my finger. Just a second. Ever want to see what the, the card looks like red? I'm about to show. What is this junk? This is terrible. All right, going off camera. Just imagine me really trying. All right, I didn't scratch that card, but I got it. That is unfortunate. That's a I mean, like a razor blade. It's like opening a original Magic the Gathering booster pack or something. These are thinner than I thought, which is kind of sad, but very good art. Full art like that on the back looks even more amazing. Fantastic stuff. Just wish they were a little bit thicker. Uh, more of the, the card. I don't know why they would choose a different material for those. Maybe just because of the size. Especially it's a kind of unique size. It would have cost a lot more to make that cardboard because otherwise they're pretty... Oh, look at that. I bent it. Pretty standard in, uh, you know, their size. You got like the, the MTG size and the tarot size. And here's some more of those cards. I'm assuming these are involve these guys, right? The guys in here. Um, but it looks like not all of them, so I don't know quite how all that works yet. I've got to read this to find out. But, again, we will look at these miniatures in just a moment. Just showing you what's in the box. Next! Monster pack. See this? You see all this extra plastic here that I can just, like, stab like haphazardly instead of carefully. That is what I want. I want to be able to be reckless and wild, not careful and deliberate. Ah, there you go. All right. And in here, I bet there are monsters in the monster pack. Come on. Come on. Z there have been like zero fart noises putting these on, by the way. I don't know if they did some kind of special. The air goes somewhere else, but again... Instructions on here, though, far less. In fact, yeah, this is because it's just monsters. It's not adding any new uh, rules, just additional gameplay uh, variability, right? So you have more monsters to pick from, which is always welcome and highly suggested in most of these games. These are just the four cards required, so you'd shift those in there. One for autumn, one for summer, and two for spring. So I don't know if... Spring has less than the other one, or if spring is this monster heavy and... Oh, look at those big bases! Hold on, let me take a look at that. I didn't even... Was that in the other one? Did I miss that? Come on. Come on. Don't be taped. Ah, oh, why would you tape it in the box? You sealed the box. Don't tape it. Silly. Here they are. The plastic doohickey ring base, base ring things. I like this. I like the fact that they did that. Um, even though I've also found it kind of silly, like if you can't remember that Joe has this guy, you have a problem because Joe's going to let you know he has this guy anyway. So if you can't tell that that's Joe's, you might have a problem. Um, but now Joe can use his, his Joe color, which is probably, probably yellow. I think Joe strikes me as a yellow guy. Now you'll know. And you know what? There is something to be said about consistency. So that is cool. Two. No fart noise. Dig it. All right, and last but not least, you can't have this, guys. If you did not get the Kickstarter, this is not for you. You can look, but you can't touch. Well, you can, but it's going to cost you an exorbitant amount of money on, like, eBay or the Board Game Geek Marketplace um, or a garage sale in 20 years. Uh, take your pick. One or the other. I guess you could do both. I mean, it's not an exclusive. I don't think they card you. All right, but 
This is, I'm just glad that they have a box for this. The Lightbringer Pledge from Massive Darkness was just a plain box. This is nice. I like that you see everything there. That's cool. I like that. Center in the camera there for you. Hopefully this is showing up good. The camera's above me, obviously. Ain't no giant. Ah, look at that. You won't get the Fox Clan. But I got the Fox Clan. Fox Clan's pretty cool. Um, yeah, that's all right. Let's look... And look at that! Pre-punched! <laughs> Interesting. Interesting. More cards. These are so hard to get into. You know what? You you saw them. There, there's a phoenix. You know how it works. You've seen them by now. These are cool. I'm looking forward to this. These are like Mahjong tiles. Mahjong? Mahjong? You know what I'm talking about. They got the shapes and you match them. Anyway, listen to that. That is... You know what? So, okay, so I didn't get the the metal coins because I didn't want it to uh, anybody to play with stuff. And that's all I want to hear. For like two hours. So I punched somebody in the face. That being said, they look they look nice and colorful. I like the splash of color. Very, very cool indeed. And look at that. I'm like Stuff Fables. I get a bag to put it back into. Stuff Fables will just have me keep all my cards loose. Like some heathen. Like a Neanderthal. Like a crazy person. More of the same. They just wanted to separate it so it looks all nice and symmetrical. Alright, what, what am I doing here? Let's... Oh, come on! Oh my goodness! Alright. Alright. Get these guys out of the way. Again, we'll get to them. Calm down. There's all your plastic rims. So, this is just, I'm assuming, for the new guys. Not the, the core box. Alright, so. Let's take... Oh, don't tape it. Don't tape it, guys. I already had to open it. Shoot, this isn't even, like, for retail. There's no reason. There's no reason. Why are you taping it? <laughs> Maybe they're not, and I just can't open it. That'd be embarrassing on tape. Nope, tape. Of course. Maybe it's to have it not jostle, but this stuff is pretty tight. I don't know what kind of crazy boat ride it's having. Oh, come on! Alright, I almost got it. I almost got it. Ah! That was loud. That was loud too. I, I might edit that out. That was girly. Alright. Maybe I'll just keep it in. So. These. Oh my gosh. These are nice. So I thought they looked really, really cheap before. I thought they were like... Super dumb looking. These have some weight to them, which is very nice. And it's nice and smooth and great. And I like that. That's cool. And they're more vibrant in color than I thought. Oh, I don't know. Okay, so again, I'm slightly colorblind. Just slightly, guys. Calm down. I can see colors on black and white. Um, I don't really like this one. They look pretty close. I can tell the difference. Calm down. That one's lighter. That one's darker. However, I do like to have it look more obvious than that. Are these oh you gotta build them look at oh that's exciting get to build a, oh it goes only goes in one way so it has a little notch here yeah. now I'm afraid that's never coming back out Oop. all right let's see nope comes back out cool all right probably just for easier storage I don't know if I'd ever actually store it like that again ooh just slide out go crazy is that tape is that darn tape stop taping things. All right, and we got these guys. Oh, these are nice, too. I like that. Looks nice and clean lines. Very cool. We got... Oh, yeah. Gonna stack that to Kingdom Come. That's exciting. And these guys... I'm going to look at... I'll take one of these guys out. I'm going to look at these guys with the miniatures. Everything else I consider a component. All right, let's get to the miniatures. All right, so let's go in reverse order here. So we're going to start with the Kickstarter exclusive. So this is the Turtle Clan Fortress. Notice... It's a fortress on a turtle. Now, I don't know if you can build this guy up as high as the other ones, but either way, that's a turtle. Detailed on the bottom. Looks amazing. Very cool. Very unique. I dig that. That's that's awesome. That's cool. And great detail. Seen some mold lines. Not too bad. Overall, looks pretty nice. All right, let's go into... The, uh, let's go to the Fox Clan. So, I'm not going to show necessarily every miniature... I'm just going to show kind of a general quality 
um, quite nice. Lots of tiny, tiny details. Um, so when it comes to painting, it will take a while, but it looks pretty good. Looks pretty cool. Uh, here's kind of the I am learning how to walk guy. So there he is. Again, pretty interesting. Very interesting pose. Kind of like that. Cool weapons. Um, and then kind of you have your kind of basic guy. Now uh, notice here, this is bent. This is bent on every single one that I have. Every single one. Um, three of them. All three of them are bent. So that is fairly typical though for for this kind of stuff. All right, so uh, do the cat lady. So here's the cat lady. I'm choosing her just because she's she's tall and skinny, but nothing bent on her. So that's good. Um, kind of reminds me of the Oni from Mass of Darkness. Um, this guy's been hanging out with the Ninja Turtles for a while in a sewer, but he has since moved out and gotten lots and lots of um, robes or cloths or or something. Um, I think this is supposed to be bent, but I will check. All right, this is kind of interesting. So, the Phoenix. This is kind of what they advertised from the get-go as Kickstarter exclusive and very well detailed. I don't know if anything here is bent or if it's on purpose. That being said, I don't feel the need to fix it either way, just because I think it looks more natural that way. So, very nice. Lots of tiny details on all of this. A wash is going to really bring out pretty much everything there. And the mold lines, I don't know if you can tell, are very strategically placed typically. There is one big one here on the on the knee, on the whole leg here really. But either way, they're, they tend to try and be pretty smart about that. Um, I don't want to paint this one. Um, I've had nightmares from the Naga that I've painted. Uh, people on my Patreon know what I'm talking about there. Because uh, I have a whole video kind of, well not a whole video, but I have a video about it. But Painting inside of there sounds terrible. Of course, you gotta show off all the dragons. So here's a dragon. This thing is crazy. I love the basing. Uh, they don't typically do a whole lot of basing, but the snakes coming out of it. This guy looks way cooler than I thought he would. Good. Awesome texture in here. I wonder how that's gonna show up. And I wanna be very careful on the skin here, but there's some very, very neat texture on this one. And next up, Godzilla. You gotta have Godzilla. Why not? Uh, he's got a little, a little beard going on, but otherwise, it's Godzilla. So, I don't know, a little bit of mold lines, but it actually kind of works. Um, I don't know if I touch that up or not. Debatable. A uh, couple here and there, but that's very minor. Overall, pretty impressed. Alright, we're not gonna worry about the other ones in there. Move on to the next one. Alright, next up is the Monster Pack. I'm going to open this sucker up and we'll take a look at what it has in store for us. So this, I think you guys may have seen the most of. Oh, come on. I'll bring it out anyway. So we have the tree of faces. I like how the tree takes up pretty much the whole base. Very nice. Very cool. I dig that. That's weird. But I bet that would actually paint up quicker than you might think. Oh, putting it back in the in the box. There is a certain way to do it. Next up is the spider. I was really worried about the spider because for the longest time they didn't have a clear thing there to hold her up. And so I was worried it would just look really dumb. That being said, why not just have her clothes droop down to the bottom to really connect? Or at least have these connect. Because they almost are. I just... I don't know. I feel that could have been avoided with a few stylistic changes, and I get you may not want to change too much, but those heads are cool. But either way, I just I feel when it came to actually making this as a sculpt, and not a picture, it could have been changed just slightly to have the exact same feel and not need the kind of clear base there. Um, so I've always been kind of upset about that. Again, you gotta show the dragon. He's on this weird ball thing. I don't know what this is. I bet it has a name or a significance. Look at that face, though. Oh, that is cool. That's cool. He's this dude's got like multiple tails going on, and I don't know what these doodads are here. I think they're armor. I think they're probably gold in there. He's got like spikes too. Very cool. Very unique dragon. I love that. That's cool. And of course, Mr. I can't pick just one sword, so I will take them all. Very, very cool. Huge work surface area here. I mean, this is just one solid hunk. I like that. 
That's cool. I think he might actually be hollow. Um, oh, look, he's got a hoof showing up in there. Um, I am kind of worried about having to paint down in there. I'm worried that might show up. All right, now let's do the Kami Unbound. These guys are all amazing. This guy's like floating on some air pocket thing, and he's got, um, ah, it's a bow. He's got a bow and a, a sword and arrows. Um, in the front, I like that they're not on the back. Very cool. This lady's got like this crazy, and she's gonna be like super gold, I believe, in the concept art. Very, ooh, it's almost symmetrical. I like that. Very, very cool. Again, I'm not gonna show you all of them. Um, this guy with the, the kind of like secret tentacles underneath the skirt. Very common, by the way. If you ever have tentacles, hide them under something so you can like lift it up to show that you got tentacles, but otherwise can hide them. That's very convenient to do. I highly recommend it. On his face, it looks like he has a mold line, but that is hair. Don't trim that off. Um, trimming off a mold line sounds terrible. Look at this pose. This guy kind of scares me a little bit. He's actually pretty solid on there. Um, but yeah, this is a piece that... Ah, see? Now, I had this problem in, in Blood Ridge 2. Look at this base. It is not flat, right? It is warped. And I'm not sure how to fit, fix that. Um, rather unfortunate. Quite upset about that. I have that on my Blood Rage and I think some Descent too. Um, Simon, make sure your bases stay flat. Um, that is rather unfortunate. This one stays pretty good, but it's, it's not quite there too. These guys like standing on one. How could you stand on one foot like this? I don't even understand that. That doesn't make any sense. Like, how on earth is this guy balanced? That's his special ability is he just gives you balance. And this guy's like a walking blow dryer. He's just got air going everywhere. Very cool. I believe he will also be quick to paint as well. So pretty exciting there. That is very, very nice detail though. And it will show up a lot better afterwards. All right. And here's one of the clans. I believe this is the Turtle Clan. Um, this, <laughs> I remember when I first saw this. Oh, that's really, okay. This one quite on there. What I remember is this is the first miniature I saw of Rising Sun. And at that moment, I knew this was something special. I mean, he's got like this sword that's like, I don't know if it's bent or melting. Oh, it's, it's got an, it's got a face on it. I mean, you got like these kind of dangling things and design there. You got this like little guy standing uh, or sitting on top of this guy. Just an amazing, amazing styled miniature. The sculptors and obviously Adrian Smith. Absolutely great work here. Um, this is, I believe, is the leader of the clan. And he's got like, this huge, long, like, you know, it's, it's like a, a graduation tassel thing going on here. And it looks like he's almost banging his sword on his shield, which is very neat and very cool. Just an outstanding sculpt design. Um, this one, probably one of the more plain ones here, right? I mean, though I do like that the feet are together and actually slightly on top of each other. That's pretty unique. Normally, they are, everybody's standing either like, square like that or or poised or something he very much just kind of i don't know standing in a balance which is kind of interesting and then of course you got these guys with a cool mask and really sweet poofy uh sh uh kind of pants there that's what they're called huh. and uh holding some heads you know just just why not good thing they have long hair so you can hold them very cool very nice i dig it that's awesome Moving right along to the rest of them, these guys are really cool. I mean, I, I, I don't know what to say. <laughs> they look great, and they're going to stand out so much painted. These are the tribe I already know that can, like, appear anywhere on the map. And so it's kind of fitting that they're all in, like, super motion. Again, with the, like, one foot, they'll notice he put him at the end because he's then going over, so it's it's... Like, the weight is good. And actually, these don't seem bent at all, which I'm impressed with. So far, it's only been that Kickstarter exclusive tribe with anything bent. Even these guys, the swords look pretty good. Again, with the, I like the little rock there to give them a little bit more support. They're really well balanced. Um, I'm surprised these work as well as they do. You got, like, this dude who's, like... He's like, I need more detail on my face. And so he got it. And he also got three heads. He wants the sticking up thing going on. And I don't know. Very, very cool. Looks like 
a very long painting process, but either way, very nice. I dig it. You got like these, these ladies here. In fact, are these, are these all women? I think these might all be women. So I love, so that's a very typical pose that a lot of like dwarves have with axes, but I like that that has swords instead. Uh, this lady's reloading. I love the bow. Dig the bow and the flourishes, like the design on the, the quiver. That's really high up. That's like behind her face. I don't know. That's interesting. I wonder how that would work. Uh, let's see. Let's skip that one and go to the lady who's going to fan you to death with her fancy, fancy, fancy hair. You know how long it would take to do that? Like every morning, because you know it would mess up at night, right? It's gonna, she's gonna look crazy at night. And then in the morning, she has to like, she can't go off to battle because she has to do her hair. You know, you do what you gotta do. I mean, now see, this guy probably has the best hair in the world, but you would never know because he's got a basket on it. And looks like he's playing a musical instrument. He's t he's unaware there's a battle going on and is just having a dandy old time. Let's see here. We got a... <laughs> um, I don't know. Interesting choice in hats here. I love this. This, oh, is that a halberd? I don't know. That is cool. Uh, maybe slightly bent there. Um, but this pink dude is is legit. And then we got, these guys are a little bit more bandit-y. Like, I like this. This is a very, I, it's not something I would necessarily expect in this kind of almost a high fantasy Japanese to just kind of have these like regular bandit kind of people. I like the little weight on the bottom here to kind of, I'm, I'm assuming it's kind of a counterweight. I don't know. I dig it. This guy, hey, this guy's beefy compared to the others. I dig that he's got like this mallet. Now this yellow is a gr really cool color and stands out, but it's very hard to tell. I don't even know if you can see the the detail well there. It's hard for me to even see it. Um, much harder to tell the detail. These would definitely benefit from being painted uh, just so you could really tell the difference, even if you incorporate yellow into them later on. Very cool. That's all the clans. Next up is the core box monsters, and wow, they are cool. So, again... You get all the bases in this one, so don't don't forget that. My goodness. Aha, aha. Hold on. Before we go, before we go there, and you didn't see that. Here are the plastic coins. Um, definitely would benefit from a, at least a wash and a dry brush. Um, I will definitely do a video on that, um, and I'll try to make it. A quick and easy method. Maybe just a wash and dry brush. Maybe a kind of a, a base color wash dry brush. I don't know. I'll play around with it. I'll let you guys know. Let's get back to the miniatures. These are just ends. I mean, look at this guy. Look at this. Like, <laughs> I'm really looking for words here. The design is so important in miniatures. The actual sculpt design, what it looks like. I don't know how many kobolds I've seen or how many imps I have seen or lava beasts or yetis or anything like that. I have never seen anything quite like this. I mean, it looks like his knees out here. It looks like he's almost like moving up at an angle. I right to the camera apparently, but just, and the, the weapon choice with the, all the frills and it looks like skulls making almost his hair. Just wow. 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 Love it. Love it. It's not just materials, though that is part of it. Which these this corset seems to be just made, I think, a little bit better, um, perhaps because of the higher production values or um, quantities that they knew they would make. I'm not sure. Either way, look at that like second arm holding it too. Again, just it's not just a pose. It's the little details, like having a face on your knees. It's just the overall kind of you want them to have almost a personality just by looking at them. You don't always get that. Uh, this guy is really cool. Just a, a neat design. I love his, his like, his feet. Like, it's a, like he almost has a wrist. Right? So it's almost like a hand. Very cool. Gotta get the dragon. This is <laughs> just the, the amazing. It just simply... It's hard to... Oh, this is kind of kind of weird. It's definitely water. It's kind of hard to notice these kind of things on a computer screen. I've seen some of these painted already. You know, I've I've noticed a lot of these, but to see it in person and really get a sense of the detail here, see what has full people like flayed open on him. 
Definitely not for kids. That hair is really cool. I love his snarl. Let me grab one of the people real quick. Let's see if that's if that's a good size. Let's see if that is the same size. Now look at that. See, this is what's important. He the people are the same size. It's not any different, right? This could be this guy. I mean, minus a basket. Maybe this guy has something against baskets. I don't know. That I like that detail. That's good. Same with skulls. A lot of times skulls will be like too big. It'll either be too big or too small. Um, but these look just about correct. Maybe slightly small. I don't know. I'm not going to test them all. In fact, these almost like different sized skulls. So sometimes you get it right. Sometimes you don't. Um, and I'm not passing judgment on that because I didn't put anybody next to him. But very cool weapons. That's that's neat. Last one I want to show out of this one is the angry pig guy who has some crazy stuff here. This guy almost hurts to hold. He just has so much like spiky details. And I love this flame thing. It almost looks like he's dancing. All right, but he's got like this ball of fire and this the spear. And again, maybe slightly bent, but overall I'm very impressed with the quality of these. I'm going to go ahead and show the last one just because I, and I've showed them all. So then there's these kind of, People on top of people on top of people. Again, hide them in your skirt. If you're ever hiding anything creepy, weird, tentacles, in your skirt. Right? Because then you can reveal it, and it's coming out of your skirt, and everybody's like, ew, gross. And maybe they're trying to close it back up. That's interesting. I like that design. I like that, that, that detail. And I don't know if you notice this or not, but this person's wrapped up. See, he's they're actually tied up. Very cool. Very interesting. Uh, the more you look at these, the more detail you find. Anyway... Guys, that is it. I hope you appreciated kind of a really detailed view of not just the miniatures. You can find some 4K videos here on YouTube, but really a discussion on the design, quality, and scope. Size comparisons. I try to cover it all so that you guys know exactly the quality of miniature you're getting. Not just whether they look cool, but gosh darn it, they do. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. I am going to start painting these very soon, so expect to see this. If you want to see these painted, go ahead and hit subscribe. I would very much appreciate it. Um, I don't know. Maybe this guy will be first. Who knows? I actually have it planned out. I know exactly who's going to be first, but I'm going to show you this guy while I talk. So subscribe if you do want to see that. Give this video a thumbs up if you appreciated a realistic discussion on miniatures and not just, a, ooh, they look pretty, but I know nothing else about them. I'd appreciate that. And let me know in the comments below if you have this game, if you're going to be following along. If you've already painted them, I'd love to see pictures or you can discuss methods or what you found interesting or not. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. I always appreciate it, and I'll talk to you again next time.